Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the air is thick with anticipation. Alara Hawthorne stands at the foot of the clock tower, its towering presence casting a long shadow over the gathering crowd. The townsfolk, a motley assembly of faces both familiar and foreign, murmur amongst themselves. Their expressions are a tapestry of fear and curiosity. Alara's heart races, each beat echoing the chimes of the clock that have become a haunting melody in her life. Join us as we delve into this chapter, filled with mystery and courage. Alara stands firm, her heart racing as the clock strikes the hour. Beside her, Finn O'Malley fidgets, his sandy blonde hair tousled by the wind, while Luna Reyes, with her flowing dark locks, stands resolute. The watcher emerges from the swirling mist, a shadowy figure cloaked in despair. Its eyes glow like dying embers, piercing through the fog of uncertainty that envelopes the townsfolk. Alara feels a shiver run down her spine, but she recalls the stories Mr. Thaddeus Grimble shared about the Watcher's tragic past. A once great inventor, betrayed and forgotten, now a specter of regret. We must confront it. Alara's voice rings out, cutting through the whispers. The crowd falls silent, eyes turning towards her a mixture of hope and skepticism reflected in their gazes. The Watcher looms, its presence a palpable weight in the air. Alara takes a deep breath, feeling the warmth of her friends beside her. You are not alone, she calls out, her voice steady. We understand your pain. The Watcher pauses, its form flickering as if caught between worlds. And for a moment, Alara sees not a monster, but a soul lost in sorrow. The townsfolk shift uneasily, torn between the fear of the unknown and the desire to confront their shared history. Alara steps forward, her heart pounding, and begins to recount the tales of the inventor, weaving a narrative of betrayal and dreams shattered. As she speaks, the Watcher's form begins to shimmer, revealing glimpses of its past. A workshop filled with blueprints, laughter echoing in the air, and the moment of betrayal that had sealed its fate. With each word, Alara feels the bonds of her friendship strengthen, the weight of her heritage pressing upon her shoulders, yet lifting her spirit. Finn's mechanical skills had repaired the clock tower, but it is Alara's voice that begins to mend the rift between the living and the lost. Luna's empathic abilities resonate with the crowd, drawing them closer to the truth. As the final chime of the clock echoes through the square, the Watcher's form begins to dissolve, the shadows retreating like a tide. Alara reaches out, her hand trembling, and whispers, You are free to let go. We remember you. We honor you. In that moment, the Watcher's eyes soften, the glow dimming to a gentle light. 